you're not ready for marriage. Finances is one of the top three things that people get divorced over. You know, I don't know every dollar you have and you don't know every no, dollar you're right. I have. You're I have so many of them. I'm just... So I guess I'm going to have to be a force. If you can't go to church, then where the hell, where the hell can, can you, you go? go? Everybody, I'm Natasha and I'm Tristan. Welcome back to our channel. Living the grand life. It's Monday, y'all. You know what yeah. that means. Go ahead and let them know, baby. If they it's don't know. Mind your marriage Monday. And we here by popular demand. Right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So if this, <laughs> if this is your first time watching, first of all, welcome. Welcome, family. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell while you're at it. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're not familiar with Mind Your Marriage Monday, Natasha and I are married. Yes. Hey, girl. Hey. hey. <laughs> uh, we are married, and we like to mind our own business, mm -hmm. right? Like, we stay in our lane. Uh, you do you. We're going to do us, right? Mm -hmm. But once a week. Once a week, we step outside of our business and we mind your marriage, okay? So what we do is one of us will find a scenario um, that is marriage related. And so the other one doesn't know what it is. And we read it to one another. We spend 10 minutes. That's it. We only hop into your marriage for 10 minutes mm -hmm. to really discuss what we think about uh, the particular scenario. Yes. So today I have the, to the topic. I know nothing. Tasha knows nothing. Once I read the topic before Tasha responds, we uh, we will set the timer. Yep. And when the timer goes off, we back into our own lane, minding our business. Y'all ready? Cause I'm ready. What's the topic, baby? You ready? She was rushing me. She was saying I was talking too much. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Um, I was trying to make sure the people was aware. It's cool though. It's uh, all right. So this one, I'm gonna try to skip around a bit because I don't want to say anything that will incriminate anyone. Mm, okay. Right? Okay. So this uh, person writes in and says that her and her partner have been engaged for uh, two years and they've been together for three years. And so up until recently, um, they didn't know what each other made in their in their jobs. They just you know knew the bills was paid. They both paid their amounts and it was all good. Everything was great. Okay. Um, so recently they had um, a breakdown in their finances because um, the fiance, the male fiance said um, that he didn't have the ability to contribute to their upcoming wedding. He didn't have the finances to be able to contribute. So uh, she recommended that they like sit down and sort of, sort of talk through it together. Like write down all the, the finances, they budget, what's coming in, whatever, and figure out how they could do this, pull this off together. And he was like real uncomfortable with that. Standoffers didn't want to really, really do that. So in premarital counseling, the subject of money and finances and budgets came up and so they began to talk about it the and the therapist you know really sort of said that they should talk about it and ask how much he made and he shared how much he made she shared how much they made long story short finds out that it's he don't actually make what he said he made it's it's actually less he makes less than what he I, said he I made knew that before the therapist. You said it. um and uh you know she's concerned she's concerned mm -hmm. uh because it's not it's not enough he not, he not making it up. Um, and um, so she's concerned because she's trying to say, okay, let's let's figure this out together. We need to be very strict on our budget. We need to be, you know, like be very intentional. We can still have our wedding, but we need to be very intentional. And we need to work together, uh, you know, to, to do this. And, uh, you know, he ain't feeling it. She's upset because she has connections to try to help him get a better paying job. Mm -hmm. And he's holding out on her. Like, oh, well, I'm, I'm waiting on them to contact me. And she's like, no, I sent you the information. So you need to be reaching out. And she just feels like he's not even really trying. It's not really about what he's making, but the fact that he seems to be content with not making enough, but also not content with them talking about their finances together. Mm -hmm. So that was a long situation. I'm sorry. No, that wasn't long. I'm just sitting here like, 
having so many thoughts. There's nothing wrong with Polenta that. But yeah, so they just want some help. I'm trying to, um, she was like, I'm trying to, you know, help you, but you're making this difficult. She wants advice. Does anybody have advice? Let me get, let me get this uh, timer uh, popping. 10 minutes has started. Um, okay. Well, they gotta be young. Younger for sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have so many thoughts. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, y'all know how they show the graph when people are confused or calculating and it's got all those numbers in it. That's the equations. Happening. That's what's happening in my or head that one right mean, now. Or that one mean, where the dude got the three question marks. Yeah. And he's looking like confused. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me slow my mind down and get it out of my mouth. Number one, they're not ready to get married because there are a lot of conversations that they have not had. If they have not had this conversation relative to finances, what each other makes, what our goals are, what jobs we want to do, where we're content at, where we're aspiring to go, you're not ready for marriage. Finances is one of the top three things that people get divorced over. So mm -hmm. the fact that right now, you guys can't have a complete, op completely open dialogue right. about what each other makes, where the bills are going, what's what, and then you're supposed to come together in one home? Because I assume they don't live together, is my assumption. She said they split the bills. But, but she just, she she said how that, do you, that he paid. That throws me off even more because how do you set a budget when you don't know where to start? When you set a budget, you start with this holistic dollar amount and then you figure out how to break that amount down to take care of everything. It don't seem like they budgeting. They seem like they just paying. Which is a problem. <laughs> you can't, you, you, marriage is a partnership. This, these are not roommates living together that we all got a, you know, a, a roof over our heads and, you know, if something goes awry, I holler at you to see if you can help me out this time. Like, this is a whole partnership. You can't go into business with a partner and not have all the finances on the table. Mm -hmm. Not not a true, correct partnership. This is our life. Don't pay that any attention. So that, that right there, they have two major issues, two major red flags to being mm -hmm. married. You cannot, you have not talked about finances and you are not good at communicating. For me, communicating is the biggest outlier <laughs> if you, it, it, with marriage. Like if, if you can't communicate, it can be about anything. You have to be able to thoroughly and openly communicate mm -hmm. and, and be open to it. The fact, oh Lord, the fact that they can't do that in this situation. And then you have the aspect of someone being dishonest. You're, you've been with someone five years, you're getting ready to marry them, and the amount of money that they said they make, they don't make. Now, there's a lot of information missing. We don't know if maybe he did make that and something happened. I doubt it. If something happened, why didn't he tell her? Well, he has communication issues, clearly. Mm -hmm. He and or, and or trust issues mm -hmm. um, for whatever that is. Maybe he learned about what she made first and because he never made that amount, felt a type of way as a man that I don't make mm. uh, anywhere near what she makes, she may view me differently. Mm -hmm. And maybe she will. That's something she ought to know ahead of time. A hundred, a hundred percent. I agree a hundred percent. Also, okay, this is the big, the biggest elephant in the room. Um, why you asked that woman to marry you and you couldn't afford to marry her <laughs> in the way that she wanted to be married? Like, I get it. People all the time that don't have the amount of funds they want to get married. We didn't have the amount of funds we wanted. We had a beautiful wedding, right? But we didn't have the amount of funds we wanted and on that wedding day. So we, I, I made sure that we was, we were good. You know what I mean? Like, and, and you made sure we were good. If I felt I was that far behind financially, we still be engaged today until I got it together. Mm -hmm. You had the money to buy the ring, but you didn't have the money. Or did he? Or did he, right? He could be in, could be in debt, which a lot of people that happens to on the ring. I have so many of them. I'm just young man, <laughs> young man, <laughs> young man. I wish I could talk to him like one on one. You know, mm -hmm. I'm no, I'm taking up a lot of the no, time. No, it's okay. I just there's so many pieces. Here. Also, too, I know that this doesn't correlate for everyone at every stage of life, every set of people that meet. But something that I've learned in life is that it takes a solid five to six years to know a person. She's finding out in year five a lot of things she doesn't know. Three. Three. Well, no, they dated for, no, they dated for one, have been engaged for two. Where are you? I heard three. Okay. So basically, she said we've been together for three and engaged for two. So oh, so I took I took mm -hmm. three. They were dated for three years, and then they got they've been engaged for two years. But mm -hmm. they've been all, all around all the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, let's sit down. <laughs> sit 
down. No, oh, Kendrick, be quiet and sit down. Y'all not. Yeah, yeah, no, you're not ready. You're not ready. These clearly are not 30, 40, 50, 60 year olds. Y'all are not ready. Yeah, I'm, go ahead, Beth. I, mm -mm. Run, sis. Run. Um, I, 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 all the things you said, 100% accurate. What's really getting me, a few things are getting me. Yes, the fact that, you know, asked her, who knows who asked who to marry who? We living in 2020. Yeah, I was thinking about Perhaps that Perhaps she Maybe proposed. She... I, I don't know, right? Like, I don't know who proposed to who. Well, then she got a plan. Right? But this the thing, though. <laughs> How y'all about to be married and y'all don't even know each other's salary? Right. How, where they do that at? Even if, I'm going to be honest. It took us a while to get to the point where we were budgeting well. Right. We kept our money. We still pretty much keep our money pretty much separate. Uh, no. <laughs> no. You know exactly what I make. You know exactly what I'm I know exactly. About. That's true. But I'm talking about like we have separate accounts. We we have a, yeah, everyone should have their own separate account always. And then you have your joint accounts. Right. But ultimately like. I don't know at every at any oh, no, at what's all, in your no, account. and I don't know at all. I don't want to know that. Yeah, okay. Exactly. I get what it's what saying. I'm trying to say is we still have a separation with regard to our money. Yeah. You I don't know every dollar you have, and you don't know every no, dollar right. I have, you're but right. we do get together and we budget on our money. We know every dollar that's supposed to come in here. And we're she supposed to go. She knows anytime I get a bonus, I know anytime she gets a bonus. Mm -hmm. I know anytime something unexpected happens with her. She knows anytime something unexpected happens with me. We know the exact amount. We know everything. everything. Right, but the money is is housed. Yeah, separately. we're just not monitoring each other's. Time. We know everything. We're not monitoring it. Yes. Yeah. What I'm saying is, so what I'm saying is that's cool. Mm -hmm. But to not know, to At not all. have an idea, to not yeah, what this person is making is confusing. One thing that I think is is alarming is the fact that he's not willing to talk about it right. that when you bring it up he is standoffish and getting the attitude of y'all getting arguments and things of that nature he's lying about it and those types of things and yeah. this this what's really really red flag number three for me is the fact that um he don't got no get up and go dog like what yeah you mean? that was i was like i'm missing it's something the, that that it's the i know somebody who could that. probably put you on and get you making more but you sitting around that. you know not really trying to help yourself and you getting mad at me and you know what i mean now that's that's that that's that manipulative type of stuff where they'd be like yeah you know she be nagging no <laughs> no <laughs> pull it together <laughs> No, I'm with you. I'm with you. You grown. You, Pull it together. Yeah, you touched on two And so you, you've you already proven to me you couldn't do it by yourself. That's cool. I'm here. Mm -hmm. You a movement by yourself except you're not moving by yourself. So I guess I'm going to have to be a force when we together. I don't know. But see, you can't. You can't. He's not a movement, so you can't be a force. That's the, And that's the issue. He may be an individual. There are people out there that are completely content with where they are. Mm -hmm. Whether they are at an excelling pace or an, an, an overachieved place that they're content with, mm -hmm. a subpar place that they're content with, like mm -hmm. there are a lot of people that are completely yeah, less than one minute. Can, okay, content with where they are. And that's a big part of what I was talking about their aspirations, their goals, and things like that. She sounds like she's ambitious. He sounds like he is content. And that's a recipe two, for a marital yeah, disaster. The two can't marry, literally and figuratively. They cannot marry, and that's why they're buddy heads now. Also, the fact that it took counseling or pre-marital counseling for him to even say the number he made. And he lied! For him to lie about this. So you lie, if we do a pre-marital counseling, yeah. it is likely faith-based. Yes. So you lied to the pastor? You out here lying to the pastor? Unless that's when he, is if, that when if, he told if you? If Jesus can't know. trust you, <laughs> if the man of God can't If you can't go to the church, then where the hell, where the hell can, can you go? go? I'm just trying to figure We're it out. Dumb. We We're, are dumb. We are dumb. Ultimately, but for real, you got the last three seconds. You got to run. You got to chuckle. That's my one you, word: run. You got to chuckle. Um, I'm I'm typically all for figuring it out. You know, I get on Tristan's nerve for that sometimes. I try to come up with this is this is not this not it. Y'all not ready to be married. Hey, Y'all got more work to do if you want to stay with this person. But if it comes down to the ambition versus contentness, then. You, you can't change it. You can't make an ambitious person want to be content. You can't make a content person. 
you can show them things. And if but they you lie to. about right. something so simple, what else will you lie? What are you? What else are you keeping from yeah. me? What well, else then, are you lying? And it's gonna about? even if it is nothing else now, it's gonna be a very difficult marriage and partnership down the line. Cause now I got to check every dang old thing. And then kids and yeah, nah. So, yep. All right, that's our ten minutes, y'all. Whoo, that was a good one, babe. Cause that's a mess. Uh -huh. uh, so again, uh, if this is your first time, family, welcome to the channel. We're so happy you're here. You, you came in on a very good Mind Your Marriage Monday. Uh, now that you're here, my beautiful wife has some house rules for you. Yes. Yeah, so listen, if you didn't follow directions at the beginning of the video and you just decided um, that you wasn't going to subscribe and, not <laughs> and click the notification bell, now is a, a, your second chance. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are alerted when your new friends of the brands post a new content. Right. And while we're on the subject of content, did you like this? Did you enjoy this session of Mind Your Marriage Monday? Because I, I liked it. It was I great did. for me. It was fun. Um, tell us how much you liked it in the mm -hmm. comments. What do you think about this particular scenario? What should she do? What should she do? Is you staying? You going? Are we you missing working, something? You working it? What did we miss? Perhaps there's a perspective yeah. we have not considered. Maybe you've been this person or involved in this kind of, kind of situation. Yeah. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Yes. Share it with your friends. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about your new friends and the brands. Uh, we'll see you all next week on another episode of Mind Your Marriage Monday. But in the meantime, my amazing wife is going to tell you all where you can find us outside of YouTube. Yeah, 100%. If you are on Instagram and you are following us, what's happening? It's okay. We're about to get you right. Follow us at Living LeGrand Life. If you want to see what my beautiful wife has popping on her Instagram, follow her at Is Trish LeGrand. If you want to see what I got going on, follow me at the underscore president. We love you guys. We can't wait to see you next week. And because we know you enjoy, <laughs> because we know you enjoy this My Your Marriage Monday, here's a few more for you to watch. In the meantime, we love you guys and we will holla at you in the next video. Peace. Bye.